Hey guys. I had shared these um, polymer clay trees that I had made um, Sunday. I think I posted these two on my Facebook page. And I made this one. It's wet because I put some glitter paint on the little balls. I was experimenting with this and since I forgot to make the holes for two of them, uh, I was going to hang this one, but I decided to uh, glue them onto a canvas. I saw Eileen make a canvas, and but she glued three uh, trees on it that she made, and uh, I decided I would glue mine to a canvas also. <laughs> so I applied this paper that I like. It has a bird feeder, a nice little bird, <clears throat> and some trees. I think this is a 5x7, I believe. It's kind of small. No, it's an 8. 8x10. Eight Let me get this out of here because I keep touching the this glitter takes a, a while to dry I'm thinking of putting this one here it's gonna become a part of this tree and the other ones around here I'll probably add something to the background <coughs> That's a small have some more snowflakes. Maybe I'll use the small ones on the canvas. Maybe I'll do that. Make it more dimensional. So we'll see. So I'm going to cut this paper. Today's Tuesday. It's been raining a lot today. It's a little bit sunny, but it's been raining since Sunday on and off. And they expect more rain tomorrow. It's nice and breezy though. I like it. Okay, so I don't think I'll be using any of this. I'll save this. Merry Christmas. A little bit. I don't know. Let me get my glue gun ready and <clears throat> yeah. I made this tree Sunday and yesterday was Monday. I didn't do any don't remember doing anything. Well yeah, I made the little tree with the balls. I was just experimenting with this uh, wheel. This is one of those sewing wheels you use to mark the fabric. I mainly used it to mark the darts. So I used that on polymer clay. That's about all I did yesterday. So as soon as my glue gun is hot, I'm going to apply the trees, at least the two that are dry. I know I have some nice glittered uh, plastic snowflakes and I would, I would like to add some 
preparation for something. So let me pause while the heat glue gun while the glue gun heats up. <laughs> okay, I found first I use uh I, I looked at the stuff I have already on my desk. And oops. I have this upside down. I have another bottle, but I want to use that. Yes, I remember I have this. I think it's silver or something. Wait and see what it looks like. If I make a little circle. Look nice. It's a pearly, pearly white. Hmm. See, I want to do something with these uh, circles here. My first thought was to put some red glitter. If you know, like if it was Holly's, but I'm not sure. I want them red, or if I want to glass beads or this would be a pearly white I'm gonna stick this here I just want to build build up on this paper and use my trees They're different sizes though. I thought I want to make, you know, have that uh, cold feeling. Snowy cold feeling. The bird has a little bit of glitter on it. So maybe I could use this. I have a bird cage and I put these like, you know, stimulating the food hanging on on the cage. So I went for the crystals, but I thought it would be boring to watch me put crystal on it. I'm putting different sizes where the white spots are. I'm not going to cover every white. I thought it well, I don't know. I have two more here that are the size. Just remember that I'm going to put a tree here. A tree here. Well, maybe one here. So I don't think I need these here. going to go here and this one fits here. I don't have to take these out. Where I need to do some adjusting is right 
Unless I only use two, but two. Two, two. One here, one here. Mix. Oh, yeah. Sort of sticky things. Okay. Just leave it like that. Take all of these out. No need to be upset. Oops. That's what you're told when you know when you're <laughs> saying it like it is. I'm just saying. So I'm going to cut the string that I put on this. See, I cut that little thing off. That little pointy. I had glued it on when I made it Sunday, so what am I doing? I'm going to put a... So the idea here is you can take a paper, a nice Christmas paper or whatever the theme of your decoration is, and use it as a background and then add some stuff on it to make it dimensional. I'm thinking this this tree would look okay here. And this one is further up and it's gonna become a part of that tree there. It's still wet. Like I said, this glitter takes forever to dry. So you can do that with any uh, paper. What they call designed paper and use a canvas or a cardboard or what do they call that? That hard thing. I don't have any of that. This is uh, one of those flat canvases. I'm going to add something here like a Store something. Mm -hmm. to get another glue stick. And quickly move this in place. So originally, Sunday, I intended to make some hanging trees, and today, 
inspired by Eileen, I'm going to make a canvas. Or stick them on the canvas. That's what's great about YouTube, being inspired by other people. Especially people that come up with uh, original ideas. Like her canvas turned out really nice. She used paint. But I like this paper. I'd rather use this paper. This is. I really like the way this little tree came out, and I was just experimenting. And that's my favorite. I was like kind of playing with it. I like this one too. I like the texture. I used a uh, I used this embossing folder, vintage Moroccan fresco. I used these uh embossing folders. They're for paper, but you can use them uh, to emboss your clay. What you do is you use the race side, which is usually where the behind the front part, you use that one. That's the one that's raised. This one is recessed. So I use them a lot for clay. Okay, I glued the trees down. I need a little um, thing for this. I have some stars, but they're too small. Let's see if I can find another one. This one is too big. Oh, I know, I have a way back it. Let me go get. I have these little, they look like flowers. These are nice and sparkly. I get these uh, in e at eBay. You know, I was uh, talking the other day about an order I was making at AliExpress and they wanted to charge me um, everything said free shipping and then when I was checking out my order came up to 35 bucks and they wanted to charge 35 more for shipping <laughs> and this is you know it's the second or third time it happens and I'm not gonna fall for it again it says free shipping and then they at the checkout they add you know so uh, it's not all of the stores that do it, but that my order was uh, in three, three or four different stores, and I think all of them uh, uh, charged extra for shipping. So anyway, I went to eBay, and I got most of the things.
What I wanted to get was a mold. So I got this one yesterday. And this was one of the ones that I wanted to get uh, through AliExpress. Well, anyway, I got this one. They probably charged the uh, shipping for it. I don't know. In the price already. But, um, and it came faster than a order I had made from Joanne's. <laughs> All the way from China, free shipping, and it was faster than Joanne's. Anyway, so, you can look in eBay and get these uh, little shiny things. They come from China also. They're free shipping. They're, uh, they're usually 99 cents for a package. And you get, uh, 10 or more in a package. I think you get a whole little bag of them. I took them out of the bags. They come in these little bags. So, uh, usually they're in the uh, auctions, but if it's about to end and nobody's auctioning for them, uh, you can get them for 99 cents. They're nice, nice and shiny. And that's what I have till now. Let me pause and think about if I'm going to add anything else. I do like the way it looks. <coughs> I would like to add some, some snow or something. Let me check. Let me check this. Turned the camera off, trying to adjust it, and I hit the off button. Okay, I almost, I was going to put some glue on here, and then sprinkle some of this iridescent glitter that I'm loving so much. It's called Murano Disco, and I got it for a dollar. I used to sell these, I think I told you. Used to sell these for four dollars something. I guess not too many people were buying it, so. So, anyway, it's very pretty. It's kind of iridescent or. Uh, how do you say it? Halo graphic, something like that. So, then I remembered uh, I picked this up to take some glue out of the. Uh, the container and put it in, in something and I was gonna dot glue on this with a sponge but hey I remembered I can use modeling paste and sprinkle it with the glitter and maybe it will attach to it this is I think this is the first modeling paste I ever bought when I was working I made my first uh, really uh, art order you know with stuff that I had never used before and I wanted to try and so I bought like some gesso and modeling paste and all kinds of stuff that I saw on YouTube and I wanted to try uh, starting with my mixed media thing and like I got I still have some of this gesso I got from them Real nice just so. So anyway, I got all that when I was working and I'm glad I did because I already had it so. And um, I'm still using it. It's lasted quite some time and I've learned how to do a lot of stuff with it.
So I'm glad I got this while I was still working, because now it, it would be a little hard to get this stuff. Because uh, I won't be eligible for Social Security till February next year. So right now what I buy is like every two weeks I can probably spend maybe $30 or less in art material or craft material or anything really and I uh, that's what you know I can spend it on anything I want and I'd rather spend it on craft materials than on anything else I'd rather have craft materials and books than you know I'd rather have buy that instead of clothes I do my own hair because I'm I'm not gonna spend $45 or more on my hair if I can do it by myself and save me that money for something else. That looks pretty cute. It's uh it's circles in different sizes so it's gonna look more you know natural like snow. Could have put a little bit more here but I, I don't want to ruin the other one so let me see how I can do this. Put this here. Maybe I'm out of frame, but I'm trying to get this where I can do this and this area here. So yeah. And most of the stuff I ha I have to buy it. Oh, I have to send for it. We don't have a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby. We used to have a Michaels, but it closed. The only place I can find some, you know, some stuff is Walmart. And they're not carrying much stuff either. They used to, you know, they always have the same stuff. And sometimes, like, let's say Black Gesso, they used to have it. And when I went to look for it, I couldn't find it. They don't carry it anymore. I think they're cutting back on uh, craft things. So I said for most of the stuff, I uh, when they have a nice sale or, uh, or a coupon or whatever. I go to, uh, if I want to make a nice order, I won't buy anything for a month or a month and a half, and then I'll uh, order it online. Joanne's, Joanne's takes too much on shipping. Too much. Uh, this place that I uh, ordered the last time, Crafts for Less, now that, that was really fast. Fast shipping, great uh, service, and the stuff that I ordered was real nice. Crafts for Less, but I couldn't find it because I was using the wrong address. I kept getting a place in England, I think. really like uh oh I just remembered that I wanted to put some glitter on this I can't let it dry let me see if I can get a little bit on this way let me get the paste I want to get a little bit down here that's why I don't like <laughs> big um they're good sometimes for some things but we get these big stencils and okay. So let me fix this here, and I hope it's still wet where I started. And I will. 
would like to soak that real quick. Let me get... So yeah. Most of the stuff I have right now, I bought it when I was still working. And that was about... Oh, I'd say two years ago or two years and a half, something like that. And I can't wait to get my social security. I'm going to get it now because I don't know how much longer I have, you know. I'm not going to wait, what, six years to get money? No way. I want my money now. <laughs> well, it's still there. <laughs> oh, God. Kathy tells me it's the cure that, you know, my money is... <laughs> I'll be getting my money. To me, nothing is secure. Nothing. Unless you have it right in your hand. Unless I see it. Now, if that glitter sticks, that's going to look nice. So, I'm going to... I, I got these. These are borders. And uh, I thought I was going to use maybe something. But I didn't. These are great borders. I might use them for... Christmas cards, something, tags. So, this is, yeah, some of it's, yeah, pretty good. It stuck pretty good. It stuck better on this side here, see, because it was already probably drying over here. That stuff dries really fast. It's, it's a nice modeling paste. Okay, so that's for now. I'll probably add would look nice with... Maybe I'll do that now. I just don't want the video to be too long. And I need to... Oh, let me stop while I pick up this glitter. Darn it! I moved the camera when... Hit the start button so I went around it. See this glue gun is in the way. I went around it uh, with some ink. And for now I think it's done. Although I've been thinking about outlining the little bird. And I don't know. But for now, I'm going to stop, and I hope you like this video and it inspires you to try something. Another thing you can use are the old uh, Christmas cards. When I was organizing a little bit a couple of months ago, I found a lot of Christmas cards and I that people have sent me or that I have had left over from other Christmases, and I put them all aside because you can use them you can make a, a journal with them or you can use them uh, to collage and uh, like I said you can you probably have uh, Christmas paper from a pad left over from a pad like I have look at these Christmas trees look how cute they are I have this piece left over from some cards I made and I can cut these Christmas trees and use them for something so anyway uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later bye